Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to upgrade your laptop memory or RAM. Make sure that you have the right RAM, which is DDR, DDR2 or DDR3. And also note that only 64-bit operating systems can run 4 gigs of RAM. Buying RAM or upgrading RAM is the easiest and cheapest way to speed up your computer. You can buy really good pieces of RAM at eBuyer, Amazon and also eBay. Amazon is a bit expensive sometimes, eBay is not really reliable so I recommend eBuyer. So just for the purpose of this video, my 4 gig Sony Vio now has 1 gig. I'll be showing you me upgrading it to 4 gig which is what it normally has anyway. So see you in the actual video capture. Okay so now uh, this is the good bit. I've turned my laptop over and this is what it looks like when it's turned over obviously. I've got my product key uh, covered with my cloth. So anyway, first thing to do is take your battery pack out. So mine ha says unlock, so I'm just going to drag it over to unlock, reverse and just flick it out like that. Okay? This is what your battery pack should look like. Something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here for now. And now, uh, you need to take out the cover for your RAM. Just make sure you don't have any static uh, stuff or energy here. So just put your hand over, over it. You'll need something like like this. I don't know if you can see that. Like this. Uh, it depends really on what what your manufacturer's screw looks like. So mine looks like that anyway. So I'm just going to use this to unscrew it. Your RAM will normally be placed in the middle, the center of your laptop. So I'm just going to unscrew it now. By the way, I have a quite small screwdriver and I'm just going to get my flat screwdriver thing. I'm just going to flick it out. I don't recommend you do this, but mine was really tough to get out, so that's why I use this. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of dust there. <laughs> okay. Cool. Now, uh, what else? Here you can see the RAM. So it should look green. It's normally green. And you should see like black squares on them just going across. You should see also a little sticker that kind of goes along all the little black black uh, squares on, on one of them. So what you need to do, now it will be different in some models but you should see two clips on the side of each piece so as, as you can see I have two pieces left and right and uh, you need to just take out the clips so I'm just gonna clip this one out here and it should lift like this and then all you do is take the sides and just get it out like that as simple as that and then you get it empty something like that and then do it with the other one. So just again flick it. Oh, sorry. Let me just go this way. Uh, here you go. Yeah. Flick it, and then just get the sides and just grab it out like that. Make sure not to hold the gold bit or the bottom of the piece of your RAM. You will never hold that. Okay, that will damage your RAM. Okay, now get your new RAM. So here's my original 4 gig pieces that I normally use, even though I I have a 32 bit operating system. I was a bit stupid to to get 4 gig. I just forgot that I had a 32 bit operating system. I tried upgrading upgrading to 64 bit, but uh, the drivers I didn't have any good drivers for any of my hardware. So I'm just gonna get my 4 gig piece and just line up. You should see also, don't know if you can see that, but there's a little gap. Hold on, let me just move here. There's a little gap at the bottom of your RAM stick just there. And you should see the little bit on your case or your RAM holder. And that should snap in place with your RAM stick. So I'm just going to get it lined up carefully and put it into the diagonal shape. Make sure that all the gold bit is underneath the middle, so that's all covered, and should look something like this. Now you just get the sides and push it down, and wait for the 
clicky sound. Okay, so there you go, there's a clicky sound. And get the next one. And then just grab it by the sides. And then put it in. So it's at that angle. And then now just snap it in place. And there you go. Now just put on the cover. And I'm not sure what you want to do with your your other RAM sticks, your old RAM sticks. You can just sell them on eBay. Probably make around 20 quid, I guess. So I'm just gonna grab the sides, just put the sides in. Uh, some manufacturers make it difficult to put in your thing, like Sony have done with me. So I'm just gonna grab the sides and then grab my screwdriver and just screw it in. Okay, uh, that looks all good now. Ooh, my product key. Hope you didn't see that. Otherwise, I'll c cover it in Camtasia. Anyway, so my other RAM sticks. What to do with them? Well, I recommend that you have some sort of um, package. Normally, a little cover for your new RAM it comes in something like this. I have a little cover thing, and you c I can just put the RAM in here. So. I recommend you get something better than this. This is not the best thing to put your RAM in. I guess this is only you know if you've got nothing else. The last resort, I guess. Put it in tissues. No, I'm joking. Don't put it on tissues. Put it somewhere where it's not dusty so so it doesn't so the metals and stuff don't grab any dust and just make sure you know it doesn't get uh, damaged. The other piece. Put it in. Sorry you can't see this. I'll probably edit this out anyway. Put it in and fold it in place. Okay, so now I just need to put my battery pack in. Okay, slide it in like that, and then bang, lock, and there you go. You've got your four gig installed. Now I'm just gonna boot this up and I will resume the tutorial okay so you can see that the size has gone up by four times obviously since it was one gig to four gig and make sure you can see it's DDR2 so you need to have the same one otherwise it may not work you may have a stroke of luck if it does work and I've seen cases in where that does happen but it's very rare and you know you just don't want to risk it and you don't want to waste your money as well so a link to Amazon eBay and eBuyer will all be in the video description I highly recommend getting RAM as it does speed up your system now what RAM does is actually let you run more simultaneous programs at the same time so let's say you're on Firefox and then Windows Media Player Windows Explorer and VMware Player all at the same time that's because applications take your RAM, your CPU does what you're doing, if you know what I mean. So RAM is always going to be taken up, but your CPU will not, no, will not always be taken up. So you can see that my RAM is at a steady rate, 984 megabytes or 985. You can see that that's because I'm only running MSN, a few other applications like Dropbox, Task Manager and my screen recorder so that all totals up to 984 if I open Firefox it will probably go up to around 1.1 1 .1 or something like that or 1 or one gig so it'll go up to 1 gig and it'll just stay there until I open another application if I close Firefox it'll go back down my CPU depends on if I click here you'll see it goes up and if I click to my compute into computer you can see that it just goes up like that and I move up move my window around you'll see that it just changes you can see it goes up and down up and down up and down whereas RAM is more steady and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again